this was no joke. We hit a power line. We scuffed our ACs. Probably shouldn't have drove our butt in here, to be real with you. We're staying at the Cloverdale Hillsburg KOA in wine country. Campground office is really nice. They have a little bit of everything. You could get coffee creamer, you want a soda, ice cream, a little bit of food, they got you covered. But the prices, you're gonna pay premium. You're in the woods. Do you have gas? If not, you can get some and you probably will need it for the furnace because it gets colder in the well diggers. Yeah. Every good campground needs to sell ice and they sell ice. But I'm kind of sad, we're starting to get used to those resorts that have the little ice machines you can come up 24 seven. They don't want no snobby thieves up in this joint. They'd lock it up. Nope, yep, but they have ice. You just have to wait until the office is open. Every good campground's got a bathhouse and a laundry room. You gotta have somewhere to do your paperwork and clean your clothes. This one doesn't disappoint. There's a lot of washer and dryers in the bathroom. It's a bathroom. Gotta love when a campground has a laundry room, so I will be visiting this place before we leave. Best part, they have scooter parking outside the bathhouse and laundry room. I'm sure that's what those were there for. Absolutely. We love that they have a swimming pool and a hot tub, but it is too cold to get in there right now. It's been 36 in the morning with a high in the low 50s. There's no way I'd get in the pool. Maybe the hot tub, but nah, I ain't getting any. <laughs> no, because once you get out of the hot tub, it's a little ways to our campsite. Yeah, and I don't need to be up here with the breeze on the mountain freezing my butt off. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Every KOA we've been in has had cabins, tent camping, RV camping, and this one doesn't disappoint. It also has a lot of amenities for the kids. It's got at least three different playgrounds. And of course the doggy parks, they have picnic tables everywhere. The cabins are all spread out. It's really nice. Got a ping pong table, you got a basketball court. You've got a uh, beautiful gazebo area up top that's got seating and you can overlook the Alexander Valley Mountains. And it's right next to the pool and the hot tub. This is an amenity that I did not expect and I am pleasantly surprised. This is not a swimming area, it's catch and release only. And you know the best part? No gators. <laughs> <laughs> this is an awesome little private pond and they've got bass and bluegill. They might have catfish, haven't checked yet. But uh, we will be doing some fishing here this weekend as long as the weather warms up. It's freaking cold. Fish do exist. <laughs> I think yours is bigger. Gotta hold it closer, then it's real big. There you go. <laughs> this is one of the things I love about campgrounds because if you don't have an RV, it's okay. They have cabins and these are beautiful. They're rustic, they have a porch swing, fire pit, picnic table, and a little grill. The campsites here are beautiful. A lot of them are covered with trees, which is great unless you have Star Lake. But we love that each campsite has a picnic table, a fire pit, and a grill. One of the things we noticed is the sites are pretty level, although they are all gravel. So something you have to be mindful of if you get really wet weather. Not sure why, but it's pretty empty in this campground, which is kind of nice for Chris and I since he is a remote worker. So it's very quiet during the day and night. can't beat it when your neighbor is 100 yards away. We are in beautiful wine country. We are in the hills of Alexander Valley. This is one of the most picturesque RV parks that we have ever stayed in. It is absolutely gorgeous here. They have nature trails, wineries, and this by far is our opinion of the best site in the place. Look at this. It's empty. I wish we'd have known about this because that is your view from the campground. Pretty freaking incredible. 
I really like how long this campsite is of ours. We have our truck, we can detach. We have the fifth wheel all the way back up to the tree, but not touching. And it comes with a lot of amenities. It's got a fire pit, a grill, it has a nice picnic table, and we're surrounded by trees. We don't have any trailers beside us or behind us, so it is really, really quiet. But the only downside, our campsite, we cannot use our Starlink. Yeah, our good friend, the tree here, and here get in the way and of course as murphy would have it north is right there in that tree so no such luck but that's okay at&t and t-mobile are fantastic up here yeah at the end of this video you're going to see some other internet options that we have that we use all right y'all you know we are not no clickbaiters that's not how we roll so we're going to tell you why this is the scariest koa in america boo <laughs> Not really. So there I was. And there we were. Right? It starts once upon a time in a trail far, far from... <laughs> can't even. I, I okay. can't even say with a straight face, y'all. All right. Chris did the research, booked this KOA, and the reason why, it's near his work area. Yeah. So he's a remote worker, but there's occasions where he needs to go to the office. So he made plans to come in and do some office time, too. Yep. So he needed something close by. Perfect, right? KOAs are always big, nice pull through, good amenities. They're usually kids friendly, family oriented. Dog Nothing friendly. I have to, I don't have to worry about crackheads, right? That's always what I worry about. Yeah, and they're dog friendly. Yep, they like Cali. So I do all the research ahead of time. I call them and say, I got 13 four tall, I got 38 feet long, I've got a you know, 22 foot truck. Can I make it in? Oh, no problem, sir. You're good. You're good man yeah i guess we're here so we're good we, but ma we made it we hit a phone wire like a pole like a telephone line that swooped down we actually hit it saw it swaying mm -hmm. that's never happened to us before never and he was driving slow and he was he had to go in the other lane just a little bit when it was safe to do so, just to maneuver away from the trees that are overhanging. Well, and it's not only just the trees. Like, we're always worried about the, like, 13-4. And most places are at least 14 foot. But the trees here, like, you have the road and the trees like this. It's leaning over the road. And if you're in a car or a truck, it's not a problem. But when you got a big old RV like we got, they're leaning into it and would literally hit our sidewall. So we had to go into the other lane coming into the KOA. Yeah, luckily it's not a busy road, but some of the cars coming our way were doing the same thing. And they were tiny little cars. Apparently they are race car drivers. They were hauling ass. Mm -hmm. They were doing at least a double the speed limit. It's like a 25 mile an hour speed limit. They were flying. And of course, because we're so stinking big and we're avoiding trees, we're partially taking our half out of the middle. Yeah, so, not, not the whole way, only when we had to. Right, yeah, I'm not a bad driver guys but this was some scary crap there's no mm -hmm. way around it so as we're going in it's four and a half miles of this two lane road that's barely one and a half lanes with all these trees overhanging and then cars coming hauling ass mm -hmm. at us and then to get even worse the trees weren't all tall enough and we actually ended up hitting our acs yeah so we still have all three of our acs some of them got scratched a little bit of the side of our rv got scratched just to kind of give you a little background Chris is an amazing driver. So when he was in the Air Force, he was driving rigs longer than our RV and truck. Oh yeah, I used to load planes. So I'm used to driving massive things with five axles, had turning on four out of five axles. So big vehicles don't scare me. Yeah, he can back that fifth wheel up like nobody's business. <laughs> big trees scare the hell out of me. Well, and the trees don't just go straight up. They're branches, they, you'll see. We all understand what a tree looks like, lady. There's many different types of trees, mister. These are big Majestic branches, trees. branchy trees. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like broccoli. They just yeah, sprawl, they sprawl yeah. out everywhere. They kind of go up and out. They are beautiful. The Getting into the campsite, like, so you're doing about four and a half miles down this little rickety ass two lane road that you see right now as we're driving through. And then you turn left and you got to go up the mountain. I ain't playing when I say up the mountain. Mm-hmm. Luckily, we have a dually. Luckily, yeah. <laughs> so up the mountain we go, and one of the turns is like a switchback. So you're doing like a 180 come, or 90 degrees coming up around a corner. This was hard to get into. There's no way around it. This is the hardest one we've ever gotten into um, from the potential to damage our trailer. Yes. 
I agree. We were both white knuckled. I don't think I was so tense just sitting there and just mm -hmm. looking out the windows. Not that I could help really do anything except for, hey, you might want to scoot over a little. <laughs> Martha's like, tree! <laughs> <laughs> Duck! Let's put it this way. It was so nerve wracking that when I got in and we got to the office to check in, I asked the lady, are we going to fit in the site? Because we'd already been given bad information about getting in here. Um, can you fit a 45 foot triple axle toy hauler here? Yes. Would I recommend it? No. Will we be coming back to this KOA? I don't know. I mean, if I have another option, no. Um, the facility is gorgeous. The people are nice. This It is serene in the mountains. It is gorgeous gorgeous with wildlife maybe if we stayed in the cabin or if we got a tiny tiny like there's a bunch of tiny little um smaller campers here or van life <laughs> yeah if i if i if i got her to rock a b van we could roll up here again not happening so <laughs> no it, it is beautiful here um when we got here on friday there was a bunch of, I think it was Girl Scouts had a little retreat here with their dads. And it was so cool because they were doing catch and release. I'm and laughing, y'all, because she, she was joking. All right, so let's put this into context. I'm busting you out here with the peoples. All right, y'all. So we're in wine country. So we're in Sonoma County, California, which is gorgeous. And where it is from? where I'm from. It is a gorgeous area. And as of the most recent years, it is a very affluent place and very expensive. The KOA is $105 a night for the sites here. It's expensive and they're not even paved. Now, back to the Girl Scouts. So there's a Girl Scout retreat up here with their dads. And there's a bunch of Mercedes and Teslas and gorgeous high-end SUVs. Got no problem with that. Martha makes up a song about it and calls them corporate daddies. I was dying, y'all. Dying, y'all. I'm telling you. So, Martha, why don't you tell our beautiful community your corporate daddy song? I don't remember. <laughs> remember, that we don't sing. Oh, no. The world's already seen that. <laughs> if so you watch RV Unplug, you'll see. I'll, I'll go ahead. I won't sing it. I'll explain it to you. So there was a bunch of very nice cars and they were staying in the cabins and they, they had a uh, food Polo truck. They Polo were dress, in shirts, khakis in the with, campground. With the fleece vest. Yeah. Polos, khakis, and a fleece vest. That's what we're trying to say. They now were they're going, dressing down. They were dressing. <laughs> okay. So we've established that they were dressed down. They were up here with their kids, and we think that is wonderful and encouraged mm -hmm. the hell out of it, yep. right? So Martha being Martha and her uh, extra sense of humor calls them corporate daddies, which I think is hilarious. So beyond corporate daddies, she starts singing a song about corporate daddies, you're the one, you make shopping lots of fun. So much fun. So much fun. <laughs> yeah, your girl over here, corporate daddies, that's her new theme song. Okay, since we're busting people out here, Someone got super excited about the taco truck that was here on Friday. Oh, I ain't playing. The The Mexican food in California is on point, and I am a fat kid. So we're riding our scooters around, taking a tour before recording, so we can kind of get the layout of everything. And we roll up to the taco truck, and we're like, heck yes. Like, we just rolled in. We sat I want up. some carne asada tacos. Mm -hmm. Chris goes to order our dinner and then asks how much it costs. And the gentleman said what? That it was part of the event. It's it part of Corporate Daddy's event. <laughs> and we're we like, didn't get no tacos. <laughs> we're like, crap. All right, I guess we got to cook. Man, they throwing Eric acorns at us. That's rude. <laughs> that, that, that squirrel was like, hey, you hush about my Corporate Daddies. <laughs> right? They make sure we have good Wi-Fi. Okay, nothing wrong with Corporate Daddies. And I'm actually, one. He's, he's corporate. <laughs> I'm corporate. <laughs> and he's a daddy. Yep, but I don't got a Tesla. Y'all got a hookup. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little Mini Cooper in it. All right, we went way the hell off the rails right, now. We're here we about did. KOA. This is where we're at, and that's a pond, and those are geese, and that's a duck. And a goose. There's a goose somewhere. And there's quail. There's, there's a deer. big one right there. Yeah. All right. Back to what we were doing. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. We lost it. <laughs> we did. We went squirrel on that. Well, you fucking <laughs> threw an air corn at me. <laughs> So, yes, this was the scariest KOA. No, this was the scariest RV park that we've ever driven into. Thank God we came in during the daylight and we yes. could go really slow. Yeah, if you have something smaller than what we have, which, you know, 38-foot uh, fifth wheel. 13-4 tall. 101-inch body wide. 
Yeah. You'd be all right. And you could even get in with what we have. You just plan way ahead, go really damn slow, and uh, watch trees, y'all. This is a really nice place. It's pretty empty. We love the atmosphere around here because it's just, you're in the country. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous views. If you haven't been to Northern California wine country as a whole, I would recommend putting it on your bucket list for mm -hmm. travels. I know California is stupid expensive to come out here. Fuel prices are really yeah. expensive, but I can tell you Northern California, so that I will say San Francisco north to Oregon mm -hmm. is some of the most beautiful country that we've seen. And yeah. I mean, yes, I've lived here. Martha and I have lived here together. So we're a little bit biased in that standpoint, but this is just like, there's so much to do. On our next trip, we've already got hot air balloon booked. Yes, I'm excited. You know, we're loving the wildlife. We're grilling chicken the other night and there was deer right outside our campground. And we're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> we're watching uh, a whole flock or what do they call them? Uh, I don't know, a whole crap ton. <laughs> what are those little birds? Little quail. Thank you. Our daughter kept telling us get quail eggs. I was like, child, you is not right. Okay, what she told us, get the quail eggs. She's like, Mom, Dad, get the quail eggs. You can fry them up and put them in the little Hawaiian rolls for breakfast sliders. We need to do a better job raising that child. <laughs> we are not making breakfast sli sliders out of quail. <laughs> you know, fancy places will have quail eggs. We ain't fancy. We in a cow way, woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some of y'all might say that's fancy, but this is a great park. We're having a fun time doing a tour. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoy this, go check out our uh, luxury. T hey, we got duck, duck, goose coming over the top. Chris Look at really it. Squirreled. Squirreled. No, 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 squirrel. That's a duck. <laughs> that's not a squirrel. That's a duck. All right. Which video should we send them to see? Hey, well, I want to show you the updates to Camp Margaritaville. You know we love that place. There, it's off. Oh, that's luxury. That is the exact opposite of what this KOA is. That is definitely one of our favorite RV resorts in Florida. Give it a shot. Be right here at the end.